This is the hospital for the poor people, but we also take care of the rich people. That was the most painful thing I ever experienced. On the outskirts of Bangalore, India's third largest city, a unique experiment in healthcare, a hospital with a difference, determined to make a difference. <laughs> In 2012, Al Jazeera brought you the story of Narayana Rudalaya, an Indian hospital that aimed to give the best possible care to anybody who walked through its doors, whether they could afford to pay or not. This week, we return to Narayana after two years to revisit the doctors and patients we'd met and see what, if anything, has changed for them during this time. Let me go for a ride and show you how it is. So this is how it works. This is a joystick, which with this you can go forward, and this is the reverse, and this is the left and the right. So this is a powered wheelchair I'm using currently, so which is uh, which has made my life more. Uh, easier and uh, more fun to live for. The credit goes to the doctor. Everything has changed in two years. I've become a different man now. More positive, more energetic. You can see me. <laughs> so it's good. Life is going on cool, pretty much. No problem whatsoever. When we first met Prabhu two years ago, his life was full of problems. His body was gradually shutting down. A nerve disease was paralyzing him, and there was nothing he could do about it. His every movement had to be made with the help of family and friends. He was losing hope. My brothers, my sisters, uh, my brother-in-law, all my cousins, sisters, my friends really helped me out a lot to commute. Sometimes it feels really bad. But uh, that's how my life is. I can't uh, blame anybody for this, neither my parents, my fate. Fate was not kind. Prabhu's eyesight had begun to fail rapidly. He could no longer do his job at a local call center. I found that there, there was some problem with my eyes as well. These days, I've reached a situation wherein I can't see anything at all in the computer. Quickly going blind and out of options, Prabhu came to the Narayana Eye Hospital for help. When I saw him, he had very advanced keratoconus. Keratoconus is a condition where your cornea becomes thinner and thinner, progressively thinner and starts coming out like a balloon. His vision was very poor. Dr. Himanshu recommended a cornea transplant, a procedure that Prabhu couldn't afford. So the doctor arranged to do it for free at Narayana. He has spent a lot of money on his medical treatment. He has uh, spent a lot of money on you know, his family and probably he was the person who was a breadwinner in his family. And I was really touched by the, the whole thing. And uh, yeah, I promised him that, okay, I'll do something for him. You're going to be very fine. Don't worry. Prabhu got a new cornea in his left eye. Being able to see again, even if it was with just one eye, turned things around for him. The eye is doing really well. I can, uh, I can see very clearly vision. The vision is clear. The healing also is pretty much done. I think 90% it is done. So there is no problem. I can see pictures very clearly now. It's not just his eyesight. Thanks to his doctor, Prabhu can now move around much more freely. I just told doctor that, uh, you know, I wanted to find a job. If there is a motorized wheelchair, it would be useful for me to go to the interviews and uh, 
I can move around easily without anybody's help. So, uh, Dr. Himanchu, the entire credit goes to Dr. Himanchu. He's the one who spoke to a company called Mindtree. So, with the help of Mindtree, they sponsored this uh, motorized wheelchair, which I'm currently using. And uh, after getting this wheelchair, I can uh, you know, definitely tell that my life has changed a lot. Because I can move around anywhere and I can just go on. You know, it's, 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 it has made my life, you know, quite easy. So, this is the best buddy, as if now for me. But Prabhu wasn't out of the woods yet. He needed a job. Being 32 and unemployed weighed heavily on him and came up in every conversation he had. I just don't want to be another piece of junk. Yeah, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. No, I'm also on the lookout for a job for you. Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. And I'm sure you will get a good job because you have very good knowledge in your computers. Yeah. You have like tremendous command that, over that your language. I feel like and it is so very difficult in India to get a job. I'm sure you're not going to be burdened on anybody. Yeah, you're an asset to which, which place yeah, you place you job. Sure. But people, what they think, they don't see my abilities. They see only my disability. Yeah, yeah, Based yeah. on that, when they judge, you know, I feel like... Yeah, sure. I get, because there are quite a few companies I've been for interview. Like the, everything, I just passed with 100 marks on all the aspects of the interview. Finally, an HR comes and tells me like, uh, I love to check on this uh, HR policy. I don't know. But being a disabled, what is their policy they have to check? Even without a job, Prabhu's life has been changing for the better. But that's not all. The hospital that has helped him turn things around is itself going through a transformation. Major changes. First of all, as an institution, we have now become Narayana Health, not Narayana Rudalaya. The reason being, we are becoming international and uh, it is very difficult for a non-Indian to pronounce Rudayalaya. So we thought we'll uh, cut our name into NH or Narayana Health, which is relatively easy for people to pronounce. The name change is just one aspect of this hospital's exponential growth. Narayana now has major investors, big names like JP Morgan and Pinebridge, who may not necessarily share the hospital's original benevolent vision and who may expect returns on their investment. But Dr. Shetty says he's not worried. We are zeroing down on somebody who wants to play this game long haul, who is not interested in the short-term gain and basically helps us to conquer the world. We want to build a different kind of a healthcare company which doesn't exist today and this is the model which rest of the uh, healthcare companies across the world will follow. Big investors have meant big growth. Narayana has now become a major player in the Indian healthcare market. In 2012, they had 11 hospitals across the country. Today, that has doubled to 22. But over two years, one thing has remained the same, the steady stream of patients in Dr. Shetty's office, who turn to him when they believe no one else can help. <laughs> It is stressful, it is tiring, but you have to understand that those people have traveled by train from Bangladesh or Calcutta. They spent over three and a half to four days 
to spend 10 minutes with me and they spend another four days to reach their home. And the least I can do is to spend 10 minutes with them. It is not the question of uh, a doctor giving advice to the patient. It is the trust which makes them travel all this distance and come. Trust, hard to earn, but very easy to lose. The last time we were here, we'd met this family who had entrusted the hospital and its doctors with the life of their nine-month-old son, Hatasham, whose liver had failed. Two years later, they say that trust came at a very heavy price. Hatisham, their only child, is dead. The parents blame the hospital. These doctors are only for my children to keep experimental and for some of them, and for some of them, experimental. If they do this, then how will they do it? If they do it, then how will they do it? Because they got this, they got this, because 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 they got this. लाश ने बता दिया ऐसे ऐसे हो गया करके अभी उसका है ना जान जान का अभी टू अवर्स है उसके उससे पहले भी उसको काटा मेरे सामने ही काटा पता है ना उन लोगों को अभी जान जा रही है बस नहीं रहा करके पता है पता होने के बावजूद भी वो उसको उस टाइम पर टॉर्चर कर रहे उस टाइम पर कैसा क्या मतलब आ किया उसने कुछ होश नहीं है उसको नाक में नाक में ब्लीडिंग जा रहा मुँह में ब्लीडिंग जा रहा कुछ भी होश नहीं ऐसी ही पड़ी उसकी बॉडी जब उन्होंने यहाँ पे चार बजे चार बजे सुबह में ऐसे ही यहाँ पे काटा तो आ गया वो बच्चा मुझके पास ही थी उस दिन फुल रात जो उसको किया क्या मैंने देखा है सामने छह बजे हो गया उसका By the time he died. Hatasham had been in and out of hospital for a year and a half. We had first met him on Eid al-Fitr, the end of Ramadan, a day of celebration for Muslims, including his family. When his tiny body finally gave up, it was Eid al-Fitr again. हम लोग और ना होप रख लिया था कि रमजान के बाद हम शायद इसको घर वापस लेकर आएंगे करके ऐसे ऐसे होप रख लिए थे रमजान में ऐसे ईद के दिन ऐसा ऐसा मैसेज दे दिया हाथिशाम वाज इन ट्रबल सून आफ्टर ही वाज बोर्न बैडली जॉन्डस्ट विद अ हाई फीवर डॉक्टर सेड ही नीडेड अ लिवर ट्रांसप्लांट कुछ नहीं किया तो क्या हो जाएगा हम कुछ नहीं किया तो उसका लाइफ को डेंजर है यानी एक साल में ये बच्चा का लाइफ चल जाएगा सो अभी हम ऑपरेशन किया तो 70-80 परसेंट चांस अभी है उसको लॉन्ग टर्म में शॉर्ट टर्म में हमारे रिजल्ट से 90 परसेंट के ऊपर है उसका सक्सेस हो सकता है ठीक है Hatasham's father, Akbar, donated his liver tissue. The transplant was done, but Hatasham remained sick. When I was here, I was in the hospital. I was here for one month. The doctor told me that his blood was increasing and his fever was coming back. They told me that the drain was not passing. They told me that the 
उसको हम कुछ करना है ऑपरेशन करके करके बोला तो उसके बाद उसको ऑपरेशन किया वो ड्रेन जो वो है ना ड्रेन लगाया उसको वो बोला इसको थोड़ा टाइम लगेगा वो एक महीना दो महीने लग जाएगा वो Six months later, the drain wasn't working. Hatasham had to go through another three surgeries, all of which were unsuccessful. Six months, we kept him there. He was so tortured because he was very tortured. He was not so tortured. He was not so tortured. He was 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 so tortured. देखते हैं क्या हुआ है देखते इधर क्या हुआ है अभी वो वो करने से वो होएगा अभी कुछ अंदर कुछ हमको ये ये मिला अभी वो हमको बंद करना है उसके लिए ऑपरेशन करना है ऐसे कुछ बोल बोल के ऐसे ऐसे पाँच छः टाइम ऑपरेशन कर दिया बच्चों को यहाँ से इतना लास्ट टाइम अभी वो जो मरने के लिए दो दिन है बोल रहे तो फिर यहाँ से पूरा कटा उसको वन यून यू लॉस समन सो क्लोज एंड सो Vital to the family when everybody was involved, I'm sure they're going to have a lot of remorse and a lot of anger, and and it'll only time will heal that. You know, so they might say whatever they want to, but I can categorically say that 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 was not the case. What is the alternative? Do we just say it's too risky? I only want the good numbers. I only want the good figures. I don't want to do it. You please go away. Is that the answer? That will be cowardly on my part. Hatasham was not the only loss for this family. Soon after the baby, Akbar's mother also died. The shock of losing her grandson was too much to bear. Oh, I said, एक दम tension हो गया. Tension हो गया अन अनकॉन्शियस हो गई वही लास्ट हॉस्पिटल में उसको 15 डेज रखा था होश ही नहीं आया उनको ऐसे वो भी चलेगी अकबर हैज लॉस्ट हिज मदर एंड हिज ओनली सन आफ्टर हैविंग गिवन पार्ट ऑफ हिज लिवर टू हैटिशम ही इज नाउ अनएबल टू डू मच फिजिकल वर्क व्हिच मींस द फैमिली हैज स्लिप्ड इवन फर्दर इनटू पॉवर्टी जब लेवर जब दिया था तीन महीने रेस्ट करने के लिए बोला था डॉक्टर तीन महीने रेस्ट तो किया लेकिन अभी भी ज़्यादा वेट नहीं उठाना बोल रहा है ज़्यादा वेट नहीं उठाना ज़्यादा ज़्यादा देर बैठ गया तो दर्द होना ऐसा दो दो घंटे तीन घंटे बैठ नहीं सकते हैं हम लोग काम करने वाले हैं हमारा काम ही है ये मैकेनिकल उठना बैठना ये करना वो करना फाइल ऐसा रहता डिफरेंट हम लोग ने कोशिश किया बचाने के लिए तो वो तो बहुत टॉर्चर किया वो उस दुनिया से बहुत वो टॉर्चर करके गए हैं यहाँ से हम लोग उसको बहुत दिए हैं टॉर्चर दुनिया में रहेगा तो इसको यही होएगा क्यों रखना है इसको दुनिया में समझता है ना वो सब कुछ इट इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू बिलीव दैट वी आर नॉट गॉड वी आर ओनली इंस्ट्रूमेंट इन इज हैंड इफ वी हैव टू do a job with the belief that 100% it has to go right then we will start picking and choosing patients who we know that they will do well and those who have a good opportunity to survive will be sidelined because we will be only conscious of the outcome so our data and statistics are very very good we as an organization we believe that if there is a possibility strong possibility that the child can survive and get back to normal life we take the risk 
of course after discussing with the family and in the process some children do suffer but for the survival of the other 99% of the children we have to do this the safest surgeon is the one who doesn't operate when you operate there will be someone who will get hurt but because somebody is going to hurt you can't stop operating Seven zero four three three two. More costumes, may I help you? Hi, this is Peter calling from HalloweenCostumeSale.com. How are you doing today? Doing good. Well, I'm calling to check. Prabhu, on... meanwhile, has been lucky. It turns out that so, Dr. Himanshu was right. It was only a matter of time before he would find a job. Well, the product number is. Uh... F as in Frank, W as in Whiskey, 5482. With a bit of help from the doctor, Prabhu is now working again okay. for a call center, this time from home. I'm working for a US-based company, so I love to use American accent as well as use American name. So my American name is uh, Peter John. So when customer call in, I take, I open my call like, uh, Thank you for calling HalloweenCostumeSale.com. This is Peter, how may I help you? That's how I take the call. So the customer shouldn't get any doubt that he's calling back, you know, in India. He has to get an uh, idea that he's calling somewhere locally in US. All right. Thanks a lot, Scott, for your help. I really appreciate it. You have a nice day going on. We try to uh, get into uh, some organizations which uh, help uh, differently able people to get their jobs and uh, learn vocational skills. We put him across to those people and finally somehow his efforts and uh, his luck got him a job where they said uh, with your expertise in previous job and with your, uh, your kind of uh, profile, well, you don't need to come to the call center, you can take up the call at home. It was quite a heartwarming thing that uh, it's not the rehabilitation of his eye or vision, it's a rehabilitation of his entire person. Just because of the eye only, everything else is fallen into place now. I've got a good job working from home and uh, I can see the world more clearly. <laughs> With his newfound mobility and a steady income, Prabhu has started to live his dream. He and his friends have got their old band back together. We have all the equipments which is required, drums, keyboard, violin, and we have pretty much of everything we need. So we just that we'll have to gel together and start doing things now. The band meets every week to practice. There's even an album in the works. We already started, we have composed some three songs. So very soon there'll be something positive coming up. The minute I sit on my drums, I get possessed. You know, I'll, whatever, no matter how however low I am, I just get charged up. Music, friends, laughter. In the big city of Bangalore, Prabhu's struggle might be coming to an end. Across the country, in West Bengal, in the tiny farming village of Naugram, Dilip Malik's struggle is about to begin. He and his family are preparing to make the 1,800 kilometer journey to Bangalore to try to save the life of their only son. 18 month old Deep was born with a hole in his heart.
So between the two pumping chambers of the heart, these are the two ventricles. So there is a defect or a gap in the septum between the two. And from here, normally from this uh, right ventricle, the blood goes into the pulmonary artery or into the lungs. So in this condition, there is an obstruction uh, to the outflow of blood from the ventricle. So these are the four components of this condition. So we have to do corrective surgery. <laughs> Dilip and Asima's family is no stranger to heart problems. Five years ago, they had taken their daughter, Palomi, on this very same journey to Narayana for two heart surgeries. <laughs> Dilip and Asima are now hoping that Dr. Shetty and the hospital will be as generous to them as they were the last time the family was here. Hello. Well, I want to know if the product is uh, in stock or it is discontinued. Meanwhile, Prabhu's night job with the call center has been hard on his eyes, especially the right one, which still needs to be operated on. I don't see uh, any clear vision in the other eye. I can see something is there right in front of me, but then I'm not able to accurately uh, see what it is. So it's kind of blur kind of thing. I can say it has got only some 10% of vision in my right eye. So I'm finding it a bit difficult to manage with one eye because when I'm working on a system for 10 long hours a day, it actually uh, tampers my left eye, which is operated. Prabhu's right eye also needs a cornea transplant, but that'll have to wait. His left eye still has three stitches in it from the previous surgery. Today, he's off to Narayana again to meet Dr. Himanshu. Well, I'm um, going uh, it's for a regular checkup, you know. I go every uh, two months once. Doctor has told me that it depends on person to person, you know, the, the stitches stays on for uh, some time. So, uh, so once that stitches are out, uh, probably they would plan for another eye surgery. It's time for you to lift me. He's fine. He's doing very well. His uh, cornea is absolutely clear. Uh, pressure is normal. Uh, vision is quite good. So I'm happy. To Prabhu, Dr. Himanshu is more than just his eye doctor. He's already helped him find a job and a wheelchair. This regular checkup often drifts to more personal conversations. No, no more. I no need to be like uh, dependent on anybody. I feel like going out, you know. Mm, not true. And uh, feel like I'm walking back. I've yeah. got my legs back. Yeah, no, that's right. 
Everything happened because of you. No, no, it's don't say like that. There are a lot of good people who have uh, helped us in yeah. uh, this thing. Uh, probably next thing what we should be looking at is probably try to search for a job uh, yeah. which is a day job where yeah, you don't have job. to stay awake whole Definitely night. Not. This night yeah. job, I feel very tired. Yeah. Actually, in fact, I logged out at 6 o'clock in the morning. I didn't sleep. Yeah. Moreover, that is fully like yeah. that. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to a lot of people. The only thing is uh, most of my friends are uh, in the industry okay. and I don't yeah, want yeah, you to go so. into the heavy machinery and oh, those kind of areas. Somewhere around, but with your knowledge of computers and all things, I'm sure you will get much uh, better job in the daytime also. Absolutely, yeah. 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 Absolutely. I am okay with any, any kind of job, admin kind of job, technical, customer yeah. service, anything. Okay, see you then, Prabhu. It's already been 20 days since the Malik family arrived in Bangalore from their village. While Deep and his mother have been living and eating at the hospital, his sister Palomi and father Dilip are struggling to make ends meet. They're not allowed to stay at the hospital. <laughs> Finding shelter is also a challenge. I was in the family. 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 I so Dilip has gone to Dr. Shetty for help, where he was referred to the hospital's charity wing. It is a very complicated surgery, and it would have cost him something like uh, two lakhs in the normal circumstances. But Dr. Shetty has given them a concession, and which will be only around a lakh and twenty-five thousand that uh, we have to make good to the hospital, out of which uh, the patient is able to pay around 80,000 rupees. So the rest of the money is about 45,000, which we are trying to raise through Have a Heart and uh, from other uh, donors. Narayana's charity wing remains focused on helping the poor and desperate. It hasn't grown as exponentially as the hospital itself. But here, Laxmi Mani single-handedly makes sure that Dr. Shetty's Robin Hood model remains a reality, where the rich subsidize the poor. Everybody knows through the media and other things, I think, that Narayana Kardiyalaya and Dr. Devi Shetty is the only hope for them, for the poor. Nobody has been sent back for want of money till today. I can say that with confidence. Every week, Laxmi takes a bus full of patients to one of her biggest donors, the Have a Heart Foundation, which has spread to almost every major Indian city. And by the sounds of it, they're well funded. So our estimate in Calcutta is we'll be able to do about 260 lakhs worth of, or two and a half crores worth of surgeries, which is approximately 600 surgeries a year, uh, about 50 a month. And that has been going on for the last, uh, I think about now, eight, nine months. In uh, Bombay, we have commitments of about two crore rupees per year already. Next, we're going to start coaching. Jaipur, we have been doing for three, four years, but it's about eight, ten surgeries a month, small scale. Uh, Ludhiana, we have just done about 10, 15 surgeries. Bangalore, 60, 70 patients a month is going steady. There are five members in the family. Patient is not working due to heart problem. Patient is married and got a child who's going to school. 
individual donor I have arranged 20 and I am requesting our heart to give 20. She doesn't have any money at all. Hello? Hello? How since birth patient is having heart problem, since their elder daughter had heart problem and she underwent two surgeries in Naranagadiyalya, this girl, to Bangalore, they decided to bring this baby also to NH Bangalore for treatment. Here doctors referred for open heart surgery, patient's father is working as a laborer, earning rupees 2000 per month. Already they have spent for the um, for the patient's sister and now it is very difficult for them to arrange any huge amount. They can arrange rupees 80,000 for the surgery. Patient sister, uh, patient sisters are going to school. Ask her what she wants to become. The foundation has decided to help Dilip pay for his son's surgery. Teacher. 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 Now that the money has been arranged, Dilip's next big worry is food. 25 days have passed since the Maliks came to Bangalore. They have now run out of the food that they bought from home. Dilip and Palomi have no choice but to swallow their pride and rely on food handed out by the hospital to the families of very poor patients. Sometimes even a meal becomes elusive. The hospital's food coupons are only available for an hour every day, between noon and 1 p.m. Today, Palomi and Dilip have missed that window and must go hungry. On the other hand, things are looking up for Prabhu. He feels fortunate to have received so much help from the hospital and his doctor. So he's decided to pay it forward. Today, he's organized a family cricket match for the people of his neighborhood. And in the evenings, he can be found working on his music. But Prabhu and his family still feel there's something missing. They now want to find him a suitable bride. One would think somebody as lively and outgoing as Prabhu would be quite a catch. But in this country of more than a billion people, finding a wife for a man who's blind in one eye and confined to a wheelchair is no easy task. I'm trying for somebody who can uh, accompany me with whatever I am. So even I'm trying, my sister, everybody are trying hard to get somebody. Nobody bothers to even look at what deep inside you're going through. And you don't get girls at all from marriage. Prabhu's family and friends are determined they are exploring every possible avenue to get him married. Elders, they are going for this kind of orphanage, and uh, they are finding for girls who can, who can really understand. A girl who was in a situation, and uh, yeah, she will know better what life is. And they, they both will compromise each other. That is what I think. I hope they will get a good girl very soon.
Palomi has been to every temple around the hospital to pray for her baby brother. It's been 30 days now, and Deep's heart surgery is yet to be scheduled. Later in the day, it seems Palomi's prayers have been answered. The surgery takes about six hours. Outside the operating room, every second is agonizing. Just days after his major surgery, 18 month old Deep is a picture of health. His heart has been fixed. The family is looking forward to going home. Operation <laughs> A time for the Maliks to celebrate. They'll be going home soon. Across town, another kind of celebration. Prabhu is still blind in one eye and has yet to find a wife but he's got his health, his music, and his friends. All good reasons to party. No matter how bad it is, but still I will keep my head up. That's how I've been and that's how I'll be always. So nothing can stop me. I'll be rocking, always. Okay. It's been five difficult weeks for the Maliks in Bangalore. They've been homesick, run out of food, and their baby has had major heart surgery. 
But they are finally going home to their village with a healthy son.